Um, and it's for my, uh, my friend Melissa Carroll, who passed away from uh, the same cancer that I have, Ewing sarcoma. Uh, Melissa was a watercolorist. She was a, a painter. Um, and just a little thing, because I always like to bring her into the room a little bit when I read this. Um, she was this really, aside from like regenerative capabilities, she was a really phenomenal curator. She, her whole house was full of beautiful objects that she found high, low, expensive, free. And I remember going to the bathroom in her house and there was these three little um, cerulean vials, really tiny, like pinky size, uh, sitting on the medicine cabinet. And I said, Melissa, those are so beautiful. They're really strange. Where did you, where did you get those? Pier one? And and she said, um, I went to this I went to this uh, landfill in upstate New York uh, called like the Horseshoe Crab Bay landfill. And uh, there's a lot of horseshoe crabs that go there to mate and die. Um, and then you're supposed to flip them over. They sell t-shirts that say just flip it. But this landfill was really popular in the 1920s with toy companies. So you get a lot of like little dolls products and like tin toy robots. And it was just like, it was such a microcosm in her house. And there was just this exploded history in it, this exploded capacity. And Melissa loved, you know, her paintings were simple, but her life was really richly and decadently brocaded with effort, with her finding things, you know, and that was as much of a craft as her work. Um, so you'll see the tiny balls in this poem. Um, I also want to say, I was like, I will never edit this poem for anything. And Lucy was like, you should edit this poem. And I was like, no, Lucy. And then I totally edited the poem. <laughs> I went back home, I was like, shit. And I edited it. Um, so, yeah. That's Lucy. She gets in your brain. The watercolor eulogy from Melissa Carroll. When you leave my mind... The last pieces of you to leave are your hands. When you go to the earth, the last part of you visible above what is either sand or clay isn't a hand, but a glowing shroud. The black goose with your name in its throat and my name in its stomach will cough you up with her hoots. Part jelly, part watch. Part bone, part me, part power. There is a dead language buried in English. There is a word no one remembers for a temple with a bowl of millet sealed in each brick. When you are buried, the word will grow a saw sound. Its meaning will change to specify you as the builder. No one can speak the language you will rewrite. I know this isn't the heaven we wanted. Whatever is. And soon, I'll be joining you. Amid the terms for tiny bottles of defunct potions and no longer understood passions. And together we'll bury our own particular I love you. I have no clue how similar it will be to other phrases that live on in this world, but I take comfort in imagining it. I wouldn't mind it being sealed off with us in our brick of earth. So good, Max. What's it called? Mm, uh, the Watercolor Eulogy. It's in Aeons, too. Mm -hmm. That's the chat book that is purchasable. <laughs> <laughs> That was not set up, by the way. <laughs> not set up.